welcome back friends today i will show you how to take blood sample safe and effective way and what are the two points you have to keep in mind during the sampling to avoid or to give less pain to the patient first of all what items you need in sample collection room you need syringes you need cotton sterile cotton swab uh, and uh, you need alcohol swabs if alcohol swab not available you can use spirit spot bandage to close the vein area after sampling and you need sample tubes sharp container for discarding and gloves you need and other items what uh, if you're in stool containers whatever you need in sample for samples and later on you need general waste and infectious waste general waste to discard the covers of syringes stickers or like that items and infectious waste that items that are contacted with you or patient directly like gloves cotton swabs alcohol swabs like the mask like that items so now we will start the sampling first you have to tie the tourniquet at the upper arm tightly and tourniquet and locate the vein once you locate the vein you clean the vein with alcohol swab or spirit whatever is available and after that don't touch that area let it dry or you can clean that area with sterile cotton and once you insert the needle you see you will see the point uh, at one point you will see the blood enter in the needle at that point you stop the needle don't make needle more inside it will cause hemolysis and it will cause pain now you see i insert the needle and blood enters and just i stop and now i started to take the sample slowly and take the sample slowly slowly don't fastly take that will also cause hemolysis of sample and once you take the sample hold the cotton don't press this is the second point hold the cotton don't press and once you take out the needle then press the cotton now before taking out needle you have to open the tourniquet and then you just hold the cotton and now you see once i take out the syringe then i am pressing if you will press first and taking out syringe also this will cause more pain to the patient also so these are the two points you have to monitor and now once you confirm that blood is stopped you put the spot bandage to avoid any contamination and discard in the infectious ways now remove the needle uh with the cover in discard in sharp container and add the sample into your required tubes if you are using edta tubes after and uh, sample entering you have to mix the tube so that anticoagulant mix with blood and this yellow tube is gel activator tube that is used to collect the serum and uh, like that and discard the needle in the sharp container so this is the very effective and safe way to take the blood sample i hope you understand the concept and the two points to give less pain first point was once you see the needle uh, once you see the blood enter in the needle stop at that point and start to take sample and second point before taking out the needle just hold the cotton don't press the cotton So this video is going to complete here I hope you understand the concept of safe and effective blood draw collection I will meet you with new and uh, video or lecture as soon as possible thank you so much